So today, Rockfeed interviews Zach Wilde, and Zach Wilde gets choked up talking about Pantera. Hey, what up, everybody? It's your boy Trevor, back with another rock and metal news video. So he talks about the legendary Dimebag, the legendary Randy Rhodes, and we're going to play some audio because I'm not going to play the video, but I'll link the video in the description box so you guys can see the full thing. But to be honest, everybody I've known who's ever seen the Pantera tribute, they say it's the most craziest thing they've ever seen in their life. They, they say it's almost 95% accurate to what you would hear from real Pantera. They say most people that are seeing them today... We're not fortunate enough to see them in their heyday. And that is true. I've never got to see them. And if I get to see them eventually, that would be dope, to be honest. Because they're a band that I grew up listening to in the early 2000s. And yes, in the early 2000s, that was my teenage years. 15, 16, 17, and 18. But again, uh, Zach Wilde's always been a legend. So uh, we're going to roll the audio. And let me know what you guys think of what he has to say. Heard up when, when, especially when Benny saw it for the first time. I remember we were in the sub, like Benny was crying too. So, yeah, without a doubt. Like, even even when we see that on the screens, I mean, when I'm doing floods, I just gotta just, like you said, I just gotta concentrate what I'm doing, you know, instead of breaking down. But, uh, you know, because it's, it's a obviously a huge tribute spot to die. Funny you mention that. I mean, it's just like now that we're doing the, the Pantera celebration. Uh, but when we did the first show in Mexico with Pantera, it was before the Kabuki dropped, it was like, I, I felt like I was, it was the first Ozzy game again. Like, I'm just saying the adrenaline. You know, because otherwise I was just, I just always, like we did Madison Square Garden, I just go up there like, you can tell me it's a Super Bowl. It's just, to me, it's another game. You can't, because you can't get overwhelmed. Otherwise, you'll just collapse. You know, I mean, if you're overwhelmed, you know, if we're at this live TV or something like that, you do it, and they, you know, a lot of people, when they see the red, they're fine, but when they see the red light go on, or just like, you tell them it's an important game, or whatever, they, they just, it, it, mentally, they, you know, you collapse, or you just get nervous. That's kind of the truth, you know? There's a lot of MMA fighters that cannot, for the life of them, go into the octagon in front of people and be a world beater, but in the training facility... They're world beaters. They beat the champions. They dominate. But he's saying, basically, you can't get overly emotional and overwhelmed. Because if you do, you're going to feel um, how important it is. And you're going to let the fans down. You're going to let the tribute down. You're going to let your fallen brother down. Because, as he always says, Dimebag is always watching over him Why he's doing his show. And at the end of the day... If you guys have seen the Pantera tribute shows, let me know what you guys actually think about them. Were they good? Were they not good? But from the people I've known who've seen them, I think it was last year or the year before, they said it was fire. And these are people that were against it. Like, oh, it's going to suck. It's not the same thing. But they said, uh, Zach Wilde is up there doing it out of love and respect. So with that being said, guys, we will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.